Hello and welcome to the Tanks Blood Vault of Archivon Raid Guide. My name is Eliana and in this video I explain the strategy that we use for the 25-man version of Curlon the Flame Watcher, the newest addition to the Wintergrass Raid instance. If you would like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click more info on the movie information box on YouTube to head directly to Tankspot. Also, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to the right. You will be automatically notified as we release movies that way. Just like Archivon and Emelon, Coralon will only be available to fight if your faction is currently in control of Wintergrass and will despawn 10 minutes before a new battle for Wintergrass. While Coralon does not have a Heart and Rage timer, he gains a stacking buff from the time you engage him that's called Burning Fury. This increases the damage he deals by 5% every 20 seconds and acts as a Soft and Rage timer. Approximately every 30 seconds after engaging the fight, Coralon uses an ability called Meteor Fists. This gives him a buff for 15 seconds that makes him deal additional 100-125% to fire weapon damage and, like many Meteor abilities, splits the damage taken evenly across targets within 10 yards. To avoid having your tank at one shot, you can choose to either split the damage with an off tank or have your melee stay close to your tank to spread the damage evenly. Alternatively, if you're low on tanks, you could set up a cooldown rotation. You will also need a good mix of AoE healers for this encounter. After Meteor Fist, Coralon tends to use Burning Breath, which is an AoE Whirl ability that inflicts 5500 fire damage to every raid member per second for 3 seconds. So with 0 stacks of Burning Fury, you have 16.5k raid-wide damage coming in over 3 seconds. As Burning Fury stacks up, this may get tougher to heal through. Disciplined Priest Bubbles are very useful here to avoid spike damage deaths. Also, make sure your raid is mostly grouped up so people can easily be reached by AoE yields. Lastly, Corlon will occasionally target a raid member with Flaming Cinder. Basically, he'll whirl a ball of fire at someone that turns into a little flame patch at their feet. The initial Flaming Cinder hit deals around 5,500 damage in the 25-man version and then 4.5k damage every second to anyone standing within 4 yards of it. The ancient rule of it's probably a bad idea to stand and fire in the ground for long applies. Melee seem to be frequent targets of Flaming Cinder, so loosely kiting him once there are many patches is advised. Tank and raid damage in this fight is fairly heavy, but the soft and rage will prevent you from taking too many healers, so this fight is a clear DPS race. Thank you for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add any suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers, so if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.